I'm Abby. Welcome to my New York City kitchen where today we're making pumpkin couscous salad. So if you have been around at all or done any of my other recipes, you know I like a good grain salad or a good pasta salad. And of course, you need a good vinaigrette for that. So the first thing we're gonna do is make our vinaigrette right in this bowl. I have my acid here, which is lemon juice and some zest of the lemon. That is gonna go right in there. You can also use lime juice, orange juice, vinegar, whatever you like. We just want an acid. I have some extra virgin olive oil here. And we're gonna put a little bit of salt. And, whoop, and a little bit of pepper. Mix this all together. And then I have a little bit of honey here. This is optional, or you could also use maple syrup. It just kind of smooths out our vinaigrette a little bit. You don't need a whole lot. And then I'm gonna kind of talk through the pumpkin part quickly before we move on to the next part here. So I have it already cooked right here. So you can use pumpkin, you can use butternut squash, you can use kombucha squash. Any kind of winter squash or pumpkin that you like is going to taste delicious. So what I have done before was cut it up into bite-sized pieces. And we have all of these different spices. So I have onion powder, garlic powder, cumin and coriander, and a little bit of red pepper flakes. So I took that with some salt and some olive oil and tossed all of our pumpkin or squash in that and roasted it for about 30 to 35 minutes on 425 degrees, and then I let it cool. So that's where we're at with our pumpkin. And since this is a couscous salad, I have pre-cooked our couscous as well. This is pearl couscous. It's really easy to cook. It takes about 15 minutes, but I'm gonna put that right in here. And I'm gonna kind of chop it up a little bit and then mix it around in our dressing. So one of the great things about a pasta salad or a grain salad is that you can put the vinaigrette right in with all of our ingredients and over the next few days, the leftovers will just continue to get more flavorful. Okay, that looks great. Now for our salad today, of course, we have that roasted pumpkin with all those beautiful spices in there. This is a wonderful fall or winter time dish, especially since it's, you know, that's when all of our winter squash is in season and you can get really beautiful butternut squash, pumpkins and kombucha especially. All right, just wanna mix everything in there. And then of course, every time you have a bite of this couscous salad with one of those pieces of pumpkin, you're gonna get all those gorgeous warming spices. Okay, so for our pumpkin couscous salad, I also have a little bit of feta here, which will give us some nice creaminess and some protein. Stretch it through there. And then I have some toasted pecans or pecans, however you want to say them, it will still taste great. And you want to have them chopped and toasted because when you toast them, it, it kind of makes them a little crunchier and brings out that oil and, and gives it a nice uh, flavor, a little bit of caramelization there. That gets all mixed through. And then I love pomegranate seeds. So we're gonna put those in there. They add a nice pop and crunch. And of course, a beautiful color as well. And then I do love using herbs in a lot of my dishes. So today we're using mint, which is one of my favorites. So that was just roughly chopped. That's gonna go in there as well. And then there we go. You can eat it as a nice light lunch. You can add some beans or lentils in there for more plant-based protein, or you could add chicken, fish, a can of tuna, um, some shrimp maybe, or even some steak. 
And that would also be a nice way to kind of amp up the protein and make this a full lunch or dinner. So once again, I'm Abby. This is my pumpkin couscous salad. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.